Hello and welcome back to another video. Today will be an announcement video for a readathon that's happening in December and I am so excited to be a co-host for it. It is the Tinsel and Tales readathon and it is hosted by Lucy and then there are 10 of us in total that are doing this with her including her as well. <laughs> so there's 10 of us all together for this readathon and it is going to be amazing and I'm so excited. So it happens the whole month of December. It is a Christmas readathon. Just real quickly, I'm going to go through all the co-hosts and I'll link them down below so that you can go and subscribe and follow along with us as we do this readathon. Christy A. Cole, Faith and Books, Morgan's Endless Bookshelf, For the Love of Christian Fiction, the Candlewick Library, Paperbacks and Ponytails, Tales and Trees with Tay, Celestria, and me. So that's all the co-hosts, so I'll link them all below. Link Lucy and her video down below so you can go watch her video because she'll have all the details. My video is going to be shorter because I don't have a TBR yet, don't know what I'm going to read. I really don't have- I have never read a Christmas book, so <laughs> Uh, this year I'm hoping to change that, but I don't own any currently, so I'm going to have to try and find some. But here is the graphic. It is utterly gorgeous, and I love it so much, and it's going to be so much fun to do this readathon. Starting off with the prompts, the first one is read a book with Christmas in the title. Read a book that's been on your TBR shelf since last Christmas. Read a holiday romance. Read the nativity story. Free space. Read a book with a festive cover. Read a book that has been adapted to a film and then watch the film. Read a book with either snow on the cover or snow in the title. Read a Christmas mystery. So all these prompts are really awesome and I hope that you guys will participate. It's a very relaxed readathon so you do not have to do all the prompts to participate and it's just going to be super fun. I don't know if I'll be able to finish them all, especially with me never reading a Christmas book. Like this could be very interesting and I'm going to try and vlog it because I'm sure It'll be interesting for me. I know for sure I can do the nativity story. Like, I'm, I've read that many times. So, you know, I'm sure that one, will, I will have that one. We'll see what I end up reading. Not really sure. <laughs> you have some fairy tale retelling Christmas stories. It's the Christmas Chronicles. It's like a multi-author series. And so those are the books that I really want to read. And I think most of them will fulfill most of these prompts. So I'm happy about that. Those are the prompts. This is the readathon, and I really hope that y'all will go check out Lucy's video and that you'll join with us in this readathon because it's going to be amazing. And once again, subscribe to all the other co hosts and watch Lucy and come along with us for the month of December when we do this Christmas readathon. So, thank you, Lucy, so much for asking me to be a co-host. I super appreciate it a lot because this is going to be an amazing readathon and I am just so excited. I'm glad I get to do this with you. That is it for today's video, a short and sweet video. Next week you will have probably two videos, so look out for that. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're going to read a Bible verse real quick and then the video will be done. So we will be in Luke chapter 1 in verse 30 but I'm going to give you some context so the angel Gabriel comes to Mary a young woman and um, who is betrothed to a man named Joseph the angel comes to bring her the news that she will bear Jesus so we're going to start in actually 20 verse 28 actually I'm just going to read to start in 26 so it's it says, Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, he, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner this, of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. 
and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy One, who is to be born, will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her, who is called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be according to your word. And the angel departed from her. So that's um, Luke 1, 26 through 38. And in the description, I'm going to put this Bible verse so that you can see it as well if you want to read it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.